Hi, this is John in Los Angeles. It's October 8th, 2022, about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm at uh, Westwood Village Memorial Park. It's a cemetery where there's a lot of uh, famous people, actors and stuff, all buried here. And you wouldn't even know this place was here, you know. It's, it's, it's right off of Wilshire Boulevard here, but um, the little alley, you turn into it, and here's this whole big cemetery out here. It's great. Take a look over here. This is one of my favorite ones. I've been here before, but I've, I this one is really kind of cool. It's Don Knotts' uh, grave, and look, look at him. All his characters from his movies and stuff. He's a, somebody did a great job here. Look at that. That's really awesome. I gotta find some more of these people. I know there's like Betty Page and Farrah Fawcett and all those people. I went the other day to see a movie that I swore I would never see, and it was called Smile. Has any of you seen that? You know, I stopped seeing movies because I just don't like Hollywood anymore, and I, they're always throwing us a horrible message. But but I used to like horror movies and being scared, so... Anyway, I went in and I saw this movie Smile, and when I came out, it was so creepy. It made you hate smiles, so you know what I mean? This whole thing was about these grotesque smiles and people kill themselves while they're looking at you smiling. And what it to me was is they were demonizing our smiles. Kind of like they did with the muzzles that everybody's wearing, you know? But I was in a, a Borders book. I came in right after I saw the movie and I felt weird. And I walked up and the woman at the counter was uh, smiling really big and, and I... I got mad at her. I mean, I, you know, I felt anger toward her. I said, what is, what is so is making you so happy? You know, and I shouldn't have said that. I should have been grateful somebody's smiling. But that movie, it really turned me away from smiling. And I think that was the, the point of it. And I don't know. If you guys see it, it's creepy. I got to tell you. Anyway, enough waving this camera around. But check this out. This is Heather O'Rourke, who was in... Uh, Poltergeist, the little they're here girl she died in 1988 that, that was a sad thing she's got flowers and everything yeah that was really sad and I'll show you some of these other ones here in a minute I don't know where all of them are oh god I'm wearing flip flops it's going to sound like a penguin walking through the park great I'm over here. This is going to be Marilyn's grave. I got a Marilyn story for you, but this lady, I worked on a show called Family Ties. I did some lighting on there. And there was an old woman there who used to be Marilyn's stand-in on movies and stuff. And she showed me pictures of Marilyn and all that with her. But she told me something really funny. And I don't know if I should tell it, because it's, but, but Marilyn thought it was funny. But this lady said that Marilyn used to love to walk through crowds, smiling and waving but she would pass wind, pass gas the whole time. She said that Marilyn thought that was the funniest thing, the look on people's faces. And it makes me laugh, too. So, I'm not trying to, trying to show disrespect here. It's just, it's something that was funny, I thought. I'm just going to put a rose in here. Yeah, it's tight, man. Oh, it's, yeah, it yeah, is. Right. Yeah, I hope she got it. Other people are doing the same thing. Okay, thanks. That's cool. And there's Hugh Hefner right next to her, too. And he, he bought this place early so he could move in. And here we got kiss marks. Look at this. I saw people doing this this morning. I was going to do this, but I forgot my lipstick. I hate when that happens. So I'm going to go out here and look around for some more stuff here. Oh, excuse me. Here's Betty Page, the old pinup girl from the 50s. She was cool because she didn't care how to, you know, they tell her how to, how to pose and she said, hey, I'll do what I want. I like that. And Alan Melvin, this guy, he was a character actor in a lot of shows. And I remember he was on uh, Brady Bunch, he played Alice the Maid's boyfriend. But you've probably seen him in a thousand different things. This is another one here. This is Merv Griffin. A lot, of, a lot of you may remember him. And I just love what it says. I will not be here after this message. I won't be right back after this message. 
That makes me laugh. <laughs> Sense of humor. We got Farrah Fawcett, and I always wondered why. All it has is her name, and it doesn't have any dates. It's a little rose, but yeah, it's weird. It hasn't had dates on it since it happened, you know? So that's kind of strange to me. They had some kind of a gathering today. I'm not sure who it was. Rodney Dangerfield, this is great. Look at him. He's, he's got, there goes the neighborhood. I mean, how funny is that? This is where they had uh, Maryland's funeral services in this building here. You see it in the old pictures and and whatnot. And we got over here, we got Jack Lemon, great actor. It's so weird. You, you remember these people, you know, you see them on TV and they're just, this is how it all ends. It's so bizarre to me. Carol O'Connor, look at that, and his wife, and his son. Archie Bunker and all that. This is, this is where it ends, guys. Writer Billy Wilder. Here's Eddie Albert from Green Acres and all that. I love that show. Crazy but funny. And here's a picture somebody laid here of Ava Gabor and Eddie Albert too. So that's kind of interesting. Here's Natalie Wood. Yeah, look at this. Let's see who else we could find here. Somebody left some flowers. That's kind of cool. Here's Dorothy Stratton, the uh, playmate that got taken out by a crazy guy. You can freeze this if you want to read it. Just some sad situations these people get into. You know, like fame isn't everything. They go through hell. You know, a lot of them, they get themselves into it and it's sad. Here's Burt Lancaster. It's just a small little, little uh, gravesite. He must have been a real short guy. I'm sure he got, I'm sure these are cremations. Here's Dean Martin's tomb here. It's like some fresh flowers there, that's good. Here's Kirk Douglas and his, and his wife here. Anyway, I just wanted to share something different other than the uh, stupid trails in the sky. I'm getting kind of sick of looking at those. I'm sure you are too. All right, take care, guys. I'm out.